Welcome back to another track test video here at Toronto Motorsports Park where today's victim is this C7 Grand Sport. This is Jack everyone from Savage Geese. He has been doing some uh, on-screen presenting lately and he's getting awfully good at it. I wouldn't say that, but well, it's coming along. You're getting to be at pro level. <laughs> he's got that. He's got the perfect voice for radio. The face and for the YouTube. Face for, yeah. uh, I mean, well, that's open for debate. We'll let you guys comment below on that one. And you have made the terrible life choice of buying a Corvette in your mid twenties. Yes. What happened? It, I decided I really like New Balances. Yelling at my wife in the Arby's parking lot. Yeah. And this is this is the decision that. Wow. Yeah, I know. You grew up fast. I know. You just jumping straight to your midlife crisis. Or like the fifth divorce. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it is an incredible performance value isn't it yeah these cars as the c8s are coming out I know they make everything irrelevant but they, they're becoming really cheap and they're a car that kind of got the Jekyll and Hyde personality what makes them kind of a boring street cars are so good on the street they're comfortable that's why old people buy them yeah then on the track they're very capable other than pads and really this car needs tires mm -hmm. you know you don't have to do squat to these things so for those of us who don't really know what the Grand Sport package is can you kind of outline that for us so the cliff notes it's the suspension arrow and wide body from the Z06 the suspension tuning slightly different get the wider wheels and tires uh, you get the gearing and drivetrain, however, out of a Z51 regular okay. C7. The okay. same coolers, so you have the same trans and diff cooler, same oil cooler, and same gearing. So it's a naturally aspirated, what is it, an LT4? LT1. LT1, sorry, and it's With rated at how much? 460, 465, okay. respectively torque and horsepower. Right. Did you say maybe you did uh, G-Lock brake pads? And you're on Pilot Sport Cup 2s? Uh, Pilot Super Sport Run Flats, which are garbage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were on Cup tires for some nope. reason. Oh, okay. They look like Cup tires. They do now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you finished them off nicely. And G-Lock pads. So he's giving me a car on bald tires. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go find out. All right. All right, everybody. Welcome to the interior of Jack's Grand Sport Corvette. It's the most American car in the world. I'm gonna sing the Star Spangled Banner as I roll out onto the track here. No, maybe I won't do that. I probably don't know all the words. I apologize, America. But in all seriousness, this is a seriously proper track car. I've always liked the Grand Sport model for its, uh, its uh, Z06 aero, but naturally aspirated engine because the Z06s I've tried with the supercharged engine are insanely fast, but frankly, I, I've feel like they overpower the chassis so to me I think the Grand Sport's kind of the sweet spot in the C7 lineup of cars it's got the, you know the cool wide body big tire big aero setup but with this real honey of a of a naturally aspirated motor so there's an option to have this thing uh, rev match on the downshifts for me but I've turned it off because I find I'm just accustomed to doing it myself so I don't want to throw myself out of a rhythm anyway let's uh put a little bit of heat into these bald Pilot Super Sports that Jack has blessed me with and we'll see what kind of a lap time we can turn around here. I have some seat time in C7s around here but it's been a few years so it might take me a minute to kind of adjust to this especially since I just drove an absolutely bonkers aerial atom around here which couldn't be more different than a Corvette so bear with me people I'm just gonna warm myself up here and warm the car up at the same time. Brakes are mega, Jack. Those G-Lock pads caught me out. There's so much stopping power. I broke way too early, so I'll try to correct that next time around. Wow, I've forgotten what a honey of a motor this is. It revs strong, like the old LSs feel kind of lazy, but these LT motors are, they are a lot sharper. It's still not maybe coyote sharp, but it is a much improved motor, I think, over the LSs. And I see what you're saying about the tires not having a whole lot of grip left in them, Mr. Jack. Didn't give me a lot to work with, but oh yeah, she's understeering there. But overall, it feels well balanced. I feel like we're just going to be in a situation where we're trying to do what we can with the tires we got to work with here. <laughs> you know what though? When it breaks away, it's very progressive. It's not snappy or nervous feeling. I always felt the C6s were kind of unnerving you know the rear ends felt very unstable but I feel like they did make a move forward with the C7s they are definitely a more stable feeling car really attack the brakes 
braking zones in this thing. Wow, I still over overslowed. I think <laughs> We're, we are sliding a little bit there, though. We are going to catch a car on this lap, unfortunately, but we'll do what we can in the meantime just to play around a bit with this car on the limit, see what she's got to offer. She does like to slide, but it's a progressive breakaway. Like it's it breaks away quickly, but not not in an intimidating or fear-inducing way. I think it's actually pretty forgiving. It's it comes back to you pretty quickly when you give it a little counter steer. So let's see if this M2 knows how to use his rear view mirrors. It would appear not. This is a Friday afternoon lapping session here, everybody. So we will occasionally catch a duffer or two who. Uh, thinks he's the fastest car on track, but he is clearly not. And he still hasn't discovered his rear view mirrors. Uh, we will just make our presence known momentarily here as we unleash the freedom. The freedom! Just blasting bald eagles in his face there. I love it. Pedal spacing is excellent for heel and toe. You can tell they were thinking about track use with the way they've set this car up. Oh, it did a blip there for me. I think I might have turned the auto blip back on somehow. Interesting. I might need second gear through there to try that next lap. iced out on the ABS there. Interesting. Interesting. If you go to the brake pedal too hard, the ABS gets grumpy. Yeah, it likes 50 to 80% pedal pressure, but if you go for 100, <laughs> did not like it. Oh, we're learning things here, people. Not uncommon for modern ABS systems to do that, where if uh, you give it too much pressure with a race pad, it gets unhappy and will what we call ice you out or it just basically kind of like reduces stopping power for some puzzling reason. And we're catching a BMW here. We're not having a whole lot of luck with uh, <laughs> getting a clean lap in, are we? Okay, he's pulling to the inside. She will slide there, which is not a bad thing. It does get you pointed in the direction you want to go a little earlier. And oh yeah, chuck it into the S's and it goes into a nice little four-wheel drift. Here's where it iced me out a moment ago. So I'm just going to slow it down a bit. And it does go into a little bit of understeer there. I think that's more of a tire and track scenario than it is a chassis setup issue though. This track has some severe corners and it will do some understeer in places where you wouldn't necessarily expect it to. Starting to get in a bit of a rhythm with her though. She's properly capable. Definitely a capable machine. I just need to get a clean lap in here so we can get you a lap time, everybody. Well, Jack, you didn't lie to me about it being on well-used tires. It was a, uh, a little spent. Uh, it was a game of traction management. I did a 118.3, which is pretty good. I did a 118.6 or 7 in a Z51 on brand new tires. It was a press car, so it was like factory fresh. You've put some hard miles on those tires, and I think we're giving up a, a second, maybe, just to how worn out they are. Yeah. And obviously, with something stickier on there, you're just going to go faster. But what a, a capable machine! Yeah, out of the box, I'm really, really happy with it. And it's kind of—I don't want to downplay it, but it's kind of easy speed. Like around this track, you're just in third and fourth. You could use second in some of the slower corners, but it's got so much torque. You don't need it. Just leave it in third and let the torque pull you out. And it's more manageable because you're not like slipping the tire so much. I like that it trail brakes really well. It I does. like that it really rotates and it, it's a car that takes a lot of patience though when you're driving it. You're right. You got to be really disciplined because it does have so much torque that you can overdrive it really easily. And 
I think, you know, again, with the worn tires, after a lap or two, they'd get really grumpy, and so the car would start to move and slide and more. Picked up a little understeer in the front yeah. and a little oversteer in the back. And that's, you know, when both ends are, are sliding, you know you've just yeah, kind of you yeah. run out of tires. But when they were cooler and fresher, the car was really good. And I, and I feel okay about sneaking that lap time out of it. I think, you know, brand new PS4s on there or something, and you'd have a riot. Those brakes, the G-Lock brakes, are phenomenal. phenomenal. Yeah. Completely caught me out in going into turn one braking zone the first time because I, I slowed down like 100 feet you too soon. You can go all day long with reason deep. and there's no fade. Super deep. And I spazzed out and hit the paddle once, which put it into blip, blip shift for me, which I actually kind of liked. <laughs> It made me sound like a pro because it was doing it better than I was doing it. So I, I wouldn't uh, hate on anyone who uses that feature. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, it was a blast. Thanks so much for letting no us do it. I hope you guys enjoyed a little C6 Grand Sport action. Stay tuned for the next one, which will probably be in something else with worn out tires. Let's see if we can get reorganized for a proper push for a lap. <laughs> oh, shit.